Hey guys, what's happening? Happy 4th of July. I'm going to do a 600 millimeter 35k acceleration test on this thing. Um, I don't think I push, push it as fast. So, my guess is either the motors are going to lock up or I'm not going to be able to extrude enough filament. So, I'm still testing the bottom of this Maximus, the extruder back there. If you're not familiar with that thing, I designed that a few weeks ago. It's a high performance button extruder to be able to dual drive extruder. You can see like the gears, like the window, side glass, side window. So you can see that it's going with the filament. Um, <coughs> Alright, so I'm actually going to print it on a higher temp than I normally print, 240 degrees Celsius. Anyway, so let's do a print. 4 cube, 600 millimeter, 35K. So I really don't have any clue what's going to happen right now. So either this thing's going to break, or it's just going to look like a mess, or the motors are going to lock up. Let's go here and take a look. So doing the ten uh, skirt layer lines, got to get primed, and then the. Um, it should be pretty fast, like the what's it got? The first layer is like 3,000 acceleration. And then once it gets that down, it's gonna go 600 millimeter and 35K. Well, acceleration's fast. You can see how fast it's moving between the movements, but... Alright, you can see how fast it accelerates. I guess you can just probably put something bigger. Yeah, I hear it, it moves so fast it makes that crazy sound. <laughs> It's almost like an air movement. Sounds like a Hollywood movie. Sounds like one of those uh, Kung Fu movies or martial arts movie, like where they're punching and kicking. <clears throat> Alright, so the good news about this test is that the motors didn't lock up. So I was kind of worried about the motors locking up. Like they, they just wouldn't be able to handle that kind of acceleration. So, like I said, 35k, 600 millimeters per second. See how the extruder is doing. Oh yeah, I disabled the retraction and pressure vans just because I didn't know like uh So I think I need to print out some of like longer lines, maybe like like a square or something like that, where I can actually get full speed. All right, I'll be back when this is done. Ten, ten uh, working, but like I said so far the good news is that the motors aren't locking up. Yeah, all that vibration. Is, is terrible. So let me show you my. So originally I had uh, I guess bearings on there and they're quite 
And the print quality was better because I didn't have as much vibration. Um, but I went to the LMU88 or LM8UU variants, and uh, I also I started getting a lot more vibration and noise, and the, and the quality went down. Like the surface quality went down. So I bought these, and I, I think when I was switching over to the LM8UU bearings, I actually showed you guys these things, but I might actually try these. So this is the same oil impregnated bronze graphite as it is on the, the gantry, like the, the the head, the tool head. I mean, I have two on the two on the Y and one going on the on the X. Um, but I might add a second on the X too as well. Um, but this originally was for the actual the outer the outer gantry. So I might just for wrap this. I mean, because it's longer. I'm thinking this is going to control wrap, so it wants to. Run, if the if the, if the gantry wants to wrap like that, this is going to help control wrap because it's wider part. I, mean, I guess I could get the longer LM eight U bearings, but the reason why I didn't put these on is because these were pretty, these are a lot heavier than the. I think if you watch my other video, these are a lot heavier than the LM eight U bearings. But I mean, the ball bearings are just noisy, though. You know, you have all that that noise. Um. I mean, it's just, I mean, I'm finding this stuff as I experiment with it. So, the thing is, I know I could do linear rails. Like what I was saying, I know I could do linear rails. I have tons of extra linear rails right here. Putting on my lathe. So, yeah, I have tons of little, the small bearing, oh, yeah, one of my other printers, so. Uh, yeah, but I'm trying to keep it all linear rods. Just because, like, the, you know, the, the fiber, up carbon fiber, but I'm still, like, in the... Yeah, you know, I'm try still trying to find the source of the the, the Bamboo Labs Carbon X1 rods. I don't know if they're solid or, or hollow, but all right. So I'm gonna uh, finish up this. Right, so I'm gonna let this print finish and then um, come back and do a box test. Yeah, 240 degrees. Definitely hot for this filament. So maybe I should do some high speed tests on the worker printer here. If you guys aren't familiar with this other printer I made, um, this one is definitely has the juice to be able to do it. I'm running the, some LDO Superpower HTs, and I machine these big, massive heat sinks. Uh, plus, I'm running 5160 Pros um, box here, 120 by 120. All right, so it should be pretty slow for the first layer, and then I'll come back when it starts uh, getting ready to ramp up for the uh, high speed. All right, Let's see what happens. Almost some of the first layer. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if I lost steps. Yeah, I, I, lo I lost steps. You know, this printer is only just, just been trial and error. Figuring out what works, what doesn't work. All right, so let's try it again. So I increased the uh, motor current by uh, 200 milliamp, or 0.2 of an amp. Um, all right, zero box test. And motors are definitely getting warm at 1.3 amp. I guess I could machine some heat sinks, like some really big heat sinks in the top, maybe. Water cool it. To do a lot of things. Um, all right, let's keep finishing this first layer. So this is right where last time we skipped steps when I went in this direction. It's going to be a huge movie now. Ah, there it goes. Didn't skip. All right, so it was motor current. Kind of funny though how the, this. I, mean, I know it's resonance, but at higher speeds, this thing prints better. You can hear just the vibrations dramatically reduced. All right, so you, I just skipped some steps on a really fast acceleration move. So this time, it skipped in, in the Y direction. All right, so, I'm gonna bring it. so what I like to do is figure out some sort of um, 
either upgrade these things to external pro drivers um, or design some kind of capacitor board or something. That way I could actually run these at a lower current, but I would actually have the you know, available supply in a large capacitor on heavy move, you know, heavy uh, accelerations. That's actually one of the reasons why these work so well. These uh, 5160 Pros, the external ones, is they have those large capacitors, right? You know, where a typical motherboard, um, I don't actually have one over here, but we'll have a small capacitor for the driver. But actually having these really large caps definitely helps with large and fast accelerations. Um, so the last time I skipped on why. I think it may, I might have made it without skipping steps. Yep. Two steps. No, it, it lost it on a Y. You get more, more vibration in this corner. Is this really a, like a sort of a torture test so I can figure out what I need to work on? Obviously, I need to work on vibration. Um, I think I need to figure out a way to add large capacitors to the drivers or just get different drivers. I feel like there's just not in reserve. Um, don't know for sure. I want to do some more research on that because I'm going to have to probably drive these, these uh, steppers. So, um, got to need to have better cooling. Um, all right, yeah, like it was cool. Like the other day, I was I was able to work on the one of those Bamboo Labs Carbon X ones for the first time. So I learned about how that thing works, and that thing's able to get you know pretty fast speeds, 500 millimeters per second. So um, I've worked on a lot of really fast printers. So I mean, I know this thing is capable. I just got to get the right combination. Um, well, the good news is the Bodemus Maximus held up, but I mean, I was. Um, all right, so it's 4th of July. I got to go out, go buy some fireworks. All right, so, all right, doing some tests, figuring it out, having fun. All right, guys, cool. Happy 4th.